Inside this glass vial is a memory of a loved one's heartbeat. Here at Fountain Valley Hospital, two nurses were looking for a special way to connect with families who were dealing with loss. Together, they created Vials of Love. Wanting to be able to connect and give the family a little bit more closure, uh, because a lot of times loved ones die suddenly or they're not prepared for it. And so I wanted to do something that could help with the, with the grieving process a little bit. Once a family member realizes that their family member or their loved one is not going to do well or they're not going to make it, it's a challenge for them to wrap their head around things. So education is key as far as how the death process goes um, and leaving them with closure is my number one goal. Courtney and Lisa approached their boss with the idea. I was ecstatic. I, I was so proud of the two nurses that came to me and said, hey, we want to do this project because we want to connect with our patients. Courtney first came across the idea by chance on social media. So I was actually scrolling through on Pinterest one day and I had seen a post from a nurse that was back east, I don't remember exactly where from. Um, she was an ER nurse and so I thought that, that was a really great idea, but I thought we could do it a little bit better. What could work better than a plain lab tube? Once again, they turned to the internet. Amazon, because <laughs> everybody shops for everything on Amazon, right? So the first um, vials that Lisa ordered were because we just had to guess what size they were going to be. They were a little small. <laughs> they needed something that would perfectly fit the strip, leaving this very personal record intact. So the strip is an electrical representation of the heartbeat itself. So without going into a lot of details, um, there's currents that go through the heart, and so it gets captured on paper. And so we use that to see different kinds of rhythms, if they change rhythms, and so we, it's a huge tool in, uh, on a monitor floor. They finally found the perfect size vial with a decorative cork for a seal. We got the vials and then just creativity kind of spurred out and just like, all right, let's get the hearts and let's get the, the bags. And so we just we had fun. It was really creative. And then later on, we added some decorative little confetti hearts to it to just add a little bit of pizzazz. We're actually working on other things with it too. It's like maybe a poem to go in there too. Um, but that's how it came about. Just looking at the vial and just being creative and just saying, you know, how would I want to have it? You know, something bright and colorful and, and vibrant. I think it's great when they can come to me and it's not administratively driven that we're going to do a project, right? It's coming from the nurses who are at the bedside who know what's happening with their patients and they want to make a difference. It's everything. If you don't have a rapport with your patients, you cannot, um, you can educate them, you, can help, you can't help them from where they are, at, from where their knowledge base is, for what their goals are for the patient or the family members. So there's gotta be great communication between your family uh, and your patient. So it's very, very important to get a good rapport with them. That's, that's the whole thing about nursing. Yeah, it really is. And actually, if I had the opportunity to have this from, for my grandmother before she passed, I definite, it's something I definitely would have wanted. We are driven by serving the community. We are driven by serving people. And whenever you can make a transition in life easier for a patient, it makes the whole atmosphere memorable. And, and, and patients of families who are losing people have that one last thing that they can hold on to.